name's Patrick and welcome to some more Tesla news. It's been a pretty exciting week. Tesla delivered the first 100 semis to PepsiCo. And so if you're a, a truck driver and you want the most badass rig on the road, this is it. And they let out some little uh, tidbits of information on the Cybertruck. So first off, we'll start with the semi. So the semi itself is very impressive. It's an electric truck that can go 500 miles while towing 80,000 pounds. Elon said that the, test, the semi weighed in at 81,000 pounds and that it made the 500 mile test trip successfully. If, if you know what it's like using an electric truck like a Rivian or uh, a Lightning or even a Model Y or an X, you're usually looking at like half the range when you're towing up to its capacity. So if you're towing you know, a 5,000 pound trailer or an 11,000 pound trailer in a Rivian, you're gonna look at getting maybe 150, maybe 200 miles range max. So the 500 mile range, very nice. When you're doing that, I just did this trip, by the way, I went to Colorado from Riverton, Wyoming, towing a little trailer with a fiber puller and I hit some snags <laughs> and I'm gonna have a video about that. I found out you can actually charge a Rivian at a Tesla supercharger for free. The trick is we're towing it <laughs> with a Tesla that gets free supercharging. Uh, I'm not good at doing clickbait headlines. <laughs> Even the Electrify America that we went to was finally online in Casper, Wyoming. It was only given 50 kilowatts. Now this Tesla Semi, it's going to be one, one megawatt, which is a thousand kilowatts. It's going to be a thousand volt system. The battery pack is going to be a 900 kilowatt battery. So that's nine times greater than the Model S and the X. So it's just, it's just massive. This is, <laughs> this is a huge battery. It's going to charge incredibly fast. And this is not, they're not calling it the semi or Tesla mega charger anymore. They're calling it V4 supercharging. And that the Cybertruck is also going to have it. They're going to be rolling out new superchargers, adding the superchargers, and they're going to be capable of doing one megawatt. This, this kind of goes hand in hand with the renaming of the Tesla charging standard for North America to the North America charging standard and opening it up to other groups like Aptera. They said they're going to use it in their, their, their little trikey, tiny little super efficient thing <laughs> where it just kind of hides behind the back license plate. The engineering on the Tesla connector and they had a slide of it, how it's cooled in this really unique way, allowing for a megawatt of power being delivered through it and actively cooled. It's just phenomenal. All through this little tiny connector, which is just, just bonkers to think about. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, heck, instead of doing a new CCS standard to, to increase the speeds up to a megawatt, maybe everything should switch to the Tesla standard, at least in the North America. Uh, the rest of the world could do, you know, combo charging, which is actually a better version than the American version, which is just this huge honking connector. Anyways, I would be willing to switch um, the connector on my Rivian. <laughs> Tesla Model 3 and Y news. For the month of December, Tesla is giving a price adjustment of $3,750. This is probably because a lot of people are wanting to wait to take delivery to next year for a potential tax credit, which may be available on the Model Ys and may be up to $7,500. Although, the batteries that are used and where they're sourced go into play, and it probably would only be the 3750 So Tesla's just like, look, take delivery now, and we'll basically give you the same price, and it'll be off the top, and you won't have to do the tax credit thing and wait till the end of the year to get your money back. <laughs> so, and the Model 3 wouldn't even qualify. So if you're in the market for a Model 3, look at the, the inventory of Model 3s. There's actually quite a few right now as of recording, and you can pick one up you know, in a week or two and get a pretty good discount on it. Thank you guys so much for watching and me babbling on. Post your comments below. I want to know what you think. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, and don't forget, if you want a Tesla ring, my wife's still making those. Then they work in all the newest Teslas, the, the, uh, the S, X, 3, Y, most likely the Cybertruck. And they probably will work in Rivians if you're willing to sacrifice a card. So we'll probably be doing a video on that soon. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. I'm at Walking Crow. See ya. Yeah, sure. Yeah, with the most best Most best
Thanks.